What's up everybody? I'm Aiden. I'm Clark. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Duesenberg Alliance Series Mike Campbell Signature Edition Guitar. Welcome, Welcome to, to Liquid Studios. Studios. This guitar is actually our singer's uh, guitar. It's not ours. Um, it's a great guitar though. He uses it all the time. He loves it. It's, it's his, his main guitar. Yeah, it's really his only electric guitar. Uh, but it's a, it's a cool guitar. He's had it since 2011. Uh, this guitar was actually launched. Uh, Mike Campbell played his star player, his Duesenberg star player guitar at the Super Bowl in 2008, I believe. And then it was after that that they worked with him to come up with this uh, his own signature model of it. There are three different models in the Mike Campbell line. This model is a semi-hollow body. It features a P90 pickup in the neck and a humbucker pickup in the bridge, an ebony fretboard by Brolla Bar, and it's a semi-hollow body with a center block throughout the body of it, kind of like a Gibson ES339. It reminds us a lot of Gibson guitars. That's kind of why we wanted to do this video. Is we're familiar with Gibson guitars as know we've done videos we have a few of them and you can see just from looking at the guitar like it looks like very similar to a Les Paul and it the one thing that like it, the, I, I was just saying to Clark earlier when I was uh, playing with the guitar it's like this guitar just it, it's balanced so nice compared to like a lot of Les Pauls they can be a little like they can be heavy in the back end so a lot of them um, whereas this guitar like it's just it's balanced so nice and it just plays exactly like you would want a really nice Les Paul to feel like in the play like it's an amazing guitar. <laughs> This guitar sounds great, both plugged into an amp and even just sitting around playing it acoustically. It has a lot of nice sustain to it and rich tones out of the guitar. And I find even just not plugged in, if you hit a chord and hit the vibral arm, it sounds amazing compared to a lot of other electric guitars. The fretboard feels amazing to play. It's a plucked fretboard, so all the frets are completely leveled and matched and that you get really low nice action on it and you really notice that when you pick it up to play. Yeah and one just to speak to the craftsmanship of the guitar like, like we were saying when we were looking at the guitar our singer like he doesn't take the best care you could say of uh of the guitar like he looks after it but it's like we're very meticulous about our stuff and like he's not like that um and he's never had this thing set up he bought this thing in 2011 like you can do the math so like, like he changes the strings, at least does that, but uh, it's been a long time since the guitar has had it set up and you pick this thing up and play it and like, it plays like a dream, like it plays as nice of a, as a guitar when we get it back from our Lutheran after we set it up. 
up. Like, it, and that's just a testament to how how good this these guitars are set up and put together. As you can see from photos of this guitar, it looks amazing. It's got one of the nicest finishes I've seen in person on a guitar. The flake just comes off so nice, the sparkle of the blues and the stripes look so cool coming down it. It definitely grabs your eye above like almost any other guitar if you walk in and see this thing hanging on the wall. Yeah, or being played like under, if you're playing it at a show like that. Or just it looks amazing he's always getting compliments on the guitar because it does it looks great there's so much chrome on it like and it's yeah it's it's awesome and all, all this stuff it's is Duesenberg's design like the uh the lock tuners on it are Duesenberg the pickups are their own design pickups the vibral arms are... not sure about the uh toggle switches and the tone and volume pots but the one thing I do know with those two is they're fantastic quality. They're super smooth and they feel so great.
So most people probably wouldn't really be familiar with this brand. Um, they're not, like, they're definitely not as well known. You don't see the guitars as much, um, which I guess kind of makes sense because they are low, they are more expensive guitars. Like you're into the price range of Gibsons when you're looking at them, if not more, which is, uh, it's, it's a lot of money for a, a guitar. Like they do sound and play great, but yeah, it's like they're they're at they're they're at a price point where it's it's very difficult for for us to justify. The one thing I would say though with that price point is if you are seriously looking at getting a Gibson or a guitar like that, definitely if you have the opportunity to try one of these guys out, try them out because they might surprise you and you might end up walking on that guitar over again. For sure, because that's why we wanted to kind of do this video is we do like Gibsons and we're familiar with them so if that is what you're into this is a brand you should probably check out because you may give them a show yeah you may be really surprised by them um as Clark said like their their frets are all plexed um essentially the with the company there is a little bit of they're playing a little bit of word games with the guitars slightly um because these guitars are manufactured in South Korea which nothing against guitars in South Korea they make amazing amazing oh, instruments phenomenal guitars um, yeah but what happens is they're they're essentially they're made in south korea and then they're shipped to germany where i believe that's where they do the plex and they do the final setup and everything on the guitars there in germany um but like yeah there's nothing wrong with south korean guitars but they definitely do kind of try to hide that fact a little bit um and they do try to market these as they're made in germany which is not the case, but it's they're still great guitars.
thanks everybody for checking out our video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on our latest videos. You can connect with us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We also host a live stream every Monday and Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on YouTube. All the songs we create are released on all the major distributors, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, and YouTube Music. We use DistroKid to release our content. Anybody who's not a member, there's an affiliate link below. You can sign up and save yourself 7%. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.